Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will cover a new bone which is fibula. See here in this diagram, the tibia is the medial bone of the leg and the fibula is the lateral bone of the leg. It is a very thin slender bone which is present in the leg on the lateral side. The fibula is a slender lateral bone of the leg. It takes no part in the articulation at the knee joint. See here, the knee joint is formed only by the tibia bone which is the medial bone and the femur. The fibula takes no contribution or no articulation in the formation of the knee joint but it, it participates in the formation of the ankle joint below. It takes no part in the transmission of the body weight but it provides a attachment to some muscles. The fibula has the expanded upper end, a shaft and a lower end. See here the upper end or the head of the fibula. The head of the fibula possesses a styloid process. See here it has an apex which is also called as the styloid process and it has an articular surface for articulation with the lateral condyle of the tibia. See here the tibia is the medial bone and fibula is the lateral bone. The upper end of the fibula will have the apex or the styloid process okay and it has an articular surface for the articulation with the lateral condyle of the tibia. The shaft of the fibula is long and cylinder. Typically, it has four borders and four surfaces. Okay, it has anterior border, it has interosseous border, which is also called as the medial border, it has the posterior border, okay, and it has the medial border. So, all these are the borders which are present here in the fibula, and it has four surfaces. Okay, the medial border, which is also called as the interosseous border, give attachment to the interosseous membrane. Remember this thing. The it has medial border which is also called as interosseous border. It gives attachment to the interosseous membrane. The lower end of the fibula, see here, this is the lower end of the fibula which forms a triangular lateral malleolus which is subcutaneous, okay. Just like medial malleolus on the medial side of the tibia, there is a lateral malleolus which is present on the lateral side of the fibula, okay. So, this is lateral malleolus. These two malleoli, they are subcutaneous. Then there is a triangular articular facet for the articulation with the lateral aspect of the talus. See here, this is the articular facet. I will show you with the laser pointer. This is the articular facet, okay, uh, which will articulate with the lateral aspect of the talus, okay. It is present on the medial surface of the lateral malleolus because see here, this is lateral malleolus and this is the medial surface of the lateral malleolus which articulate with the talus bone. Then there is a small depression. See here, this is a small depression which is called as malleolar fossa. It lies below and behind the articular facet, below and behind the articular facet. Facet. So, how many structures we have learned at the lower end? We have learned an articular facet which will articulate with the lateral part of the tibia. See here, this will articulate with the uh, lateral part of the tibia. Then there will be one facet which will articulate with the talus bone. Then there is a lateral malleolus which is present here. This is a lateral malleolus. Okay, and there is a malleolar fossa of the lateral malleolus.